Hi there and welcome to The Understudy. My name is Philippa and this is the channel where I teach you everything we can about musical theatre. And today we are doing the third part, so the third workday of Freeing the Natural Voice by Kristen Linklater. Um, it's all about touch of sound and before you watch this one, make sure that you warm up with the two previous workdays and let's jump right into it. Step 1. Stand easily. Being aware of your long spine moving up the middle of the back, carrying the weight of your torso off your legs. Let your stomach muscles relax. You must sacrifice your vanity for a little while in the interest of inner relaxation. Let your stomach sag without becoming sway-backed or locking your knees. Keep sending two messages. Lengthen the spine, let the muscles go. Tune in to the natural, everyday breathing that is deep inside your body. Induce a deep sigh of relief. Be aware of the breath responding and releasing through your mouth on an easy and loose Feel that the breath is relief and the relief is breath. See if you can induce a large enough feeling of relief for the ingoing breath to open you all the way down into the lower half of your torso, from the diaphragm down to the pelvic floor. Picture the billowing movement of the diaphragm as it drops to receive breath and whooshes up through the rib cage to release it. From the pelvic floor, let your body mind's eye travel down through your legs to your feet. Then continue on down from your feet to the ground below and deeper still to the electromagnetic currents that run below the surface of the earth. Picture those electromagnetic currents flowing back up from beneath the earth through your feet, legs and torso to your breathing area. Let your mind rest with the easy in and out of your breath. Now introduce a picture that can take over the inside of your body from the diaphragm downward. Picture. A deep, calm forest pool with the surface roughly level with your diaphragm and its depths in your pelvic region. The pool is fed by underground streams that come from below the earth through your legs. Picture. Your spine, as if it were a great tree rooted at the edge of the forest pool. Picture the surface of the pool suffused with sunlight. Picture a small image of yourself standing at the edge of the pool, leaning against the tree looking at your reflection in the sunlit surface of the pool. Picture the surface of the pool reflecting an enlarged image of your face looking up to your real face with a slight smile. Your lips are open. Step 2. When the image is clear, transform the picture from a pool of water to a pool of vibrations of sound. The pool is now the pool of your voice. With your body mind's eye, look at the image of your face on the surface of the pool. Focus on your mouth, lips open, perhaps smiling slightly. Allow a bubble of vibration to break the surface of the pool, escaping through the image of your lips, through and through your actual lips. Ha. Huh. And now, a double bubble comes up from deep down below, breaking the surface of the pool. Ha huh. uh ha. -huh. Leave the mouth loosely open. Feed in the impulse for a sigh of relief deep into the pool of vibrations. Sigh the relief out on a long fountain of vibrations that rises up from the underground springs and, and out through your mouth. <sighs> Relax inside and allow the breath to replace itself. Yawn. Stretch. Open your eyes and shake the vibrations out from the pool through your whole torso and all your limbs. Step 3. Visualize a point at the very center of the dome of the diaphragm that responds to the tiny in and out of everyday breathing. With your mouth open, 
observe the in and out of small and the rhythm of natural breathing. Use the picture of the center of the dome of the diaphragm as the starting point of breathing. Now, let the thought of an unformed neutral sound enter the center of the dome of the diaphragm on the incoming breath and be realized in vibration on the outgoing breath. The sound that results will be ha. Huh. This is the bubble that emerged from the pool of vibrations. Stay within the rate and rhythm of your natural breathing. Instead on, of on the outgoing breath, there is now a small ha huh sound. As soon as the ha huh has released on the escaping breath, relax in the center of the diaphragm and breath will replace itself. Let the picture of the pool of vibrations and the release of the bubble ha huh, merge with this exploration. Release the ha huh vibrations lightly and let them go. Breath will automatically drop back in. Don't listen to the sound. Picture it. And if possible, feel it. The sound touches the center of the diaphragm as a result of the picture and the thought. You do not make the sound. The sound happens as a result of casual thought impulse. This is the touch of sound. Let the ha huh thought enter again and again. Be realized in the touch of sound. Ha. Huh. Relax and the breath will drop back in. Repeat this with the ordinary rhythm of your natural breathing. It is a small sound and a small exchange of breath. Now, let there be a double release bounce of vibrations. Ha ha. Still in the rhythm of your natural breathing. This is the double bubble from the center of the pool of vibrations. You can induce a bubble but you can't make one. The touch of sound is in the center of the diaphragm. Ha ha. Wait for the breath you want to replace, then yield to that need. Breath goes in. Stay with the touch of sound sequence. Ha ha. Relax inside. Breath goes in. The touch of sound. Relax. The breath replaces. Now exercise this touch of sound following the semitones down from the middle C and back up to middle C again. Then speak ha ha once more. Repeat the ha ha on ascending pitches as you drop your spine down and on descending pitches as you build it up back to standing.
Step 4. Gravity and Breath The positions we will experience now are beholden to the force of gravity for their effectiveness. I will ask you to play with two counteractive pictures. The first picture is the picture of gravity, an active magnetic force that lives in the center of the earth. When you lie on the floor, gravity will happily suck tension out of you. When you stand up, gravity will play games with you to see how you can compete with his pull. The second picture is more imaginative. Create a picture, vague or clear, of a grand marionettist in the sky who has strings attached to every joint and bone of your body and who is playfully engaged in an ongoing contest with gravity. You will exercise the power of mind over matter by asking the bones of your body to respond to your imagination as if the muscles were out of the picture altogether. This is a deliberately long, slow, and contemplative process. Do not hurry. Do not aim for a result. Be lazy. Waste your time. Lie down on the floor on your back with your legs released into their full length. Close your eyes in order to deepen your familiarity with the inner geography of your body. Let your arms slide out from your sides and align with your shoulders so that your arms are at right angles to your torso. Introduce a picture of gravity. Allow every part of your body to get in to the pull of gravity. Allow all of your tension to be drained out of you by gravity's hunger. Picture the bones of your body lying on the ground, free of muscular constriction. Now picture the grand marionettist in the sky. Picture the string he has attached to your right knee joint. Let him pull on the right knee string so that your right knee moves up toward the sky, dragging your heel along the floor until your foot is flat on the floor. Don't use any muscles. Picture the bones. Notice that the small of your back on the right side has fallen closer to the floor. Now picture the string the grand marionettist in the sky has attached to your left knee joint. Let him pull on this string so that your left knee moves up toward the sky, dragging your heel along the floor until your foot is flat. Notice the small of your back on both sides of your torso has fallen closer to the floor. Now the grand marionettist pulls on the right knee string so that your knee and thigh bone swing up and float over your belly. Picture the smooth round top of the thigh bone as it rocks in the cradle of your hip socket. Now the grand marionettist pulls on the left knee string so that your left knee and thigh bone swing up and float over your belly. Picture the smooth round tops of both thigh bones as they balance in the cradles of your hip sockets. When the marionettist swings both knees over to the right and lets the strings go so that your knees fall to the floor, left knee on top of right knee, comfortably close to your chest. At this point, let your head drop to the left. Your torso is now experiencing a diagonal stretch. Let your legs, thighs and hips relax completely to gravity to your right while your head and your left shoulder blade and arm relax completely to your left. Don't do anything. Let gravity take your torso into as long and elastic a diagonal stretch as possible. Breathe. Sigh into any tight or painful places. Stay in this position as long as you can tolerate it, allowing the force of gravity to undo tensions and open the torso.
If you need more time, please pause the instructions. Picture the right hip socket. Imagine that your lungs go all the way down to your hip socket. Enlarge the size of the picture of your hip socket, increasing in your imagination the space available for your lungs. Feed the impulse for a deep sigh of relief all the way down to the hip socket. Picture the sigh breath releasing without sound along a wide, diagonal breathing channel that travels from the right hip socket to the left shoulder socket, out through your mouth and also through an imaginary mouth in your left shoulder. As the sigh releases, picture the horizontal release of the diaphragm through the ribcage. Bring back the picture of the marionettist. He pulls on the string attached to your left knee and swings it up over your belly, bringing your foot off the floor. As your back falls into the floor, your right knee will inevitably be drawn up off the floor to hang over your belly. Both feet are off the floor. For a moment, the knees and legs are suspended over the torso. Then the strings draw them to the left, and as the marionettist releases the strings, your knees fall heavily to the floor on your left, comfortably close to your chest. Your head drops to the right. Repeat the pictorial exercises now for the left hip socket and a diagonal channel going from that space all along the inside of the torso and out through your right shoulder. Let your legs, thighs and hips relax completely to gravity on your left while your head and left shoulder blade and arm relax completely to your right. Don't do anything. Let gravity take your torso into as long and elastic a diagonal stretch as possible. Breathe. Sigh into any tight or painful places. Stay in this position as long as you can tolerate it, allowing the force of gravity to undo tension and open the torso. If you need more time, please pause the instructions. Picture the left hip socket. Imagine that your lungs go all the way down to your hip socket. Enlarge the size of the picture of your hip socket, increasing in your imagination the space available for your lungs. Feed the impulse for a deep sigh of relief all the way down to the hip socket. Picture the sigh breath releasing without sound along a wide diagonal breathing channel that travels from the left hip socket to the right shoulder socket, out through your mouth and also through an imaginary mouth in your right shoulder. As the sigh releases, picture the horizontal release of the diaphragm through the ribcage. Bring back the picture of the marionettist. He pulls on the string attached to your right knee and swings it up over your belly, bringing your foot off the floor. As your back falls into the floor, your left knee will inevitably be drawn up off the floor to hang over your belly. Both feet are off the floor. For a moment, your knees and legs are suspended over the torso. Then the strings are released and both your feet fall straight to the floor. You are now on your back, with your knees up and your feet flat on the floor. Picture the two hip sockets and the space between them that encompasses the whole pelvic basin. Now, feed in a huge impulse for a sigh of relief that is big enough to fill the great cavity of the pelvic basin and hip sockets. As this great sigh breath escapes, it will flow throughout the length and breadth of your torso from the pelvic floor to the shoulder girdle and the mouth, and your diaphragm will flow up through your ribcage. In the next exploration, repeat all the stages of the diagonal stretch exercise. 
with careful reconstruction of the images. Now the grand marionettist pulls on the right knee string so that your knee and thigh bone swing up and float over your belly. Picture the smooth round top of the thigh bones as it rocks in the cradle of your hip socket. Now the grand marionettist pulls on the left knee string so that your left knee and thigh bone swing up and float over your belly. Picture the smooth round tops of both thigh bones as they balance in the cradles of your hip sockets. Then the marionettist swings both knees over to the right and lets the strings go so that your knees fall to the floor, left knee on top of right knee, comfortably close to your chest. At this point, let your head drop to the left. Having arrived in the diagonal stretch with your knees over to the right and your head to the left, look with your mind's eye down into the right hip socket space and picture, if you can, the vibrations of sound pre-existing in that space. You might visualize the vibrations as water gathered in the pool, rock pool of your hip socket. Now feed the impulse for a deep, long sigh of pleasurable relief way down into the rock pool hip socket, galvanizing the vibrations into life. Let the vibrations be a river of relief flowing out along the wide diagonal channel that leads from your right hip socket and out to your left shoulder and your mouth. Ah. Feed in two or three new impulses. Each time picturing sound vibrations as a broad flowing river of relief that flows unimpeded through the diagonal river and channel. No boulders, no dams, everything open. Uh, uh, uh. Float your legs over to the other diagonal stretch and repeat the visualization with the sensation of the river of relief and vibrations flowing from your center rock pool hip socket through your torso, river channel and out into the air in front of your face. Now float your knees into the middle, up over your belly, and drop your feet to the floor. Picture that a great reservoir of the vibrations of sound pre-exist in the pelvic basin from hip socket to hip socket. Feed in a huge impulse for a sigh of relief, big enough to draw breath down and fill the whole pelvic region. Let the sigh impulse enter the reservoir of sound and release a long, broad river of vibration and relief that flows out through the whole torso and into the air in front of your face. Ah. Now induce an enormous yawn that starts in the middle of your body and stretches out to your fingers and your toes. Yawn with sound and see the vibrations traveling down through your legs, out your arms, up and out through your head until the whole of the inside of your body seems to be flooding with the vibrations of sound. Step 6. Slowly roll over onto your side, then onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes into the floor. Float your tailbone up into the air, leaving your head hanging heavily down. Then shift your weight off your hands and on to your feet. Slowly uncurl your spine with your head coming up last. Shake the whole body loosely, as if you were trying to shake your skin and flesh off your bones, or like a dog shaking water off its back. Shake the vibrations of sound 
out from whole, your whole body. Walk around. Check your state of body and state of mind. Notice the details of things that are fresh, new, or interesting. Say what those things are out loud. Describe any loud, out loud anything that was fresh, new, or interesting about your voice. Anything that struck you in the course of the previous exercise. Step 7. Lie down on the floor again. Sigh with a relief with sound. As you sigh out, jiggle your loose belly with your hands so that the sound gets shaken manually. <sighs> Imagine you are massaging the actual vibrations inside your belly so that you become more and more familiar with the feeling of the vibrations being there rather than in your throat or mouth. Then, reintroduce the central, sensitive touch of sound that happens in the very center of the dome of the diaphragm. With the same sensitivity and clear picture of the central connection with sound. Count one to five. Say your name. Describe how you feel. Speak a poem. Do all of this with the awareness of the physical sensation of sound in the center of your body. Pause the video and do that now. Step 8. Roll over to your hands and knees, tuck your toes under, release your tailbone to the ceiling. Shift the weight of your hands to your feet, slowly build up your spine and repeat the whole process standing. Emit a sigh of relief on sound. Ah. Ah. Jiggle the sound with your hands on your belly. Each new breath is a tiny central sigh of relief. Repeat with pitches, dropping down your spine as you go up through the pitches and coming up your spine as you go down in pitch. Practice the spine, breathing, and touch of sound exercises for a week. <laughs>